Graffiti is a divisive issue, while the law views it as vandalism, others see street art as a form of expression that only adds to the aesthetic of a city. Resident Southampton graffiti artist Faces or Faces has recently expanded their work online to include purchasable pieces, such as t-shirts, skateboards, traffic cones, vinyls and canvases. This is a big move for Southampton's graffiti scene, as it's taking the artwork from the streets and into more legitimate arenas. I caught up with the artist behind Faces for Faces, who prefers to remain anonymous, in order to gain a better understanding of the appeal of graffiti art. What got you into like graffiti in the first place? Um, I think that I've always been like profit into artwork and like art. Uh, I've always loved art, even when I was like in school. Do you consider graffiti more art than vandalism? Yeah, hundred percent. Well, it depends what type of graffiti, but I think all graffiti is uh, like, like an expressive kind of art. You've opened a shop, haven't you? Like an online store. Yeah, I've got yeah. Yeah, how did that come about? Like, uh, I think it's just because I started making T-shirts. Um, I've done it like a few times before with like friends and that and then I just put my drawing onto a t-shirt once to see what it looked like got some printed and people wanted them so oh. have you ever gotten in trouble uh, with like the law I, I haven't <laughs> not yet oh. um, fingers crossed <laughs> Do you reckon, are, are there rivalries between like the different tags and the ones that like do big words and stuff I think some of them have a rivalry but I haven't come across any of that personally